Shalom Israel, most high in Christ bless. My name is Gabriel Dear Israel, and welcome to Hebrew Chronicles Publishing. Now I know I haven't been, I've been away from uh, making videos for a while because I was working on developing my own publishing company. So I can actually get the skills and gain the experience to be able to teach you how to do the same thing. But the topic today is how to create righteous books. Now, the first thing you're going to need, you're going to need two things. You're going to need, for one, you're going to need a notebook to gather your thoughts and be able to write down anything that you think of. Because regardless of how uh, simple it might seem at that moment, guess what? When you look over it again, especially if you're studying the scriptures, you're going to gain uh, better ideas or improve on what you already wrote down. Because sometimes you write down things and you might not actually get the understanding of what you wrote right then, but later on, once your mind is clear, when you go back and read it, you'll gain a, you're, you'll actually pick up on something that wasn't even the purpose of you writing it down. So always write down your thoughts. So the second thing you're going to need is the Holy Scriptures. Because if you want to write righteous material, you need righteous material to write from. So, like myself, when I published my first book, which is The Twelve Tribes and the Power of the Seven Churches, I studied daily. When I say daily, I mean every day. I used to go to work. I would come home and work out for about an hour, and I studied for three hours every day. And then I still went to school to gain more experience and learn. So you have to be adamant about uh, learning the scriptures in order to actually produce righteous material. Like a lot of these uh, comic book characters, a lot of them, what do you think that they study? They study the Bible. To create those images and characters that they, are, they feel that are uh, immovable, unstoppable. And in order to do that, they have to go to beings who actually fit those characteristics, which are the angels. They're, you can't, they can't be hurt. They stand in the sun, for goodness sake. You can't hurt that, you know? So when they come up with uh, characters such as Superman, uh, uh, no, Shazam, and characters such as that, those characters are modeled after the, our forefathers and uh, be powerful beings from the Holy Scriptures. Of course, mixed, tweaked with uh, Greek philosophies and Greek doctrines. Well, that's what you get when you mix anything with the Bible. You get stuff that you can look at and be like, wow, this looks holy. This looks powerful. This looks dominant. So if you want to be able to uh, bring in better material and things that fit our characteristics as a people of the nation of Israel, guess what? We have to go into scriptures and gain the knowledge to be able to know what to put in our material that will not make it wicked. So before you actually uh, put out anything, make sure you go over it with your uh, counselor, your officer, or your soldier, whoever was appointed over you, to make sure that everything that you put down is in line with the scriptures. So what are some of the steps that you want to take? Well, I'm going to give you some of my experiences. When I wrote The Twelve Tribes, uh, I started out reading the books of the Old Testament, the uh, five books of Moses, which is the Torah, you know, but mainly I took a lot of my source material from Exodus, uh, second, first and second Samuel, and first and second Maccabees, you know. So when it comes to building, uh, dealing with war, there are certain chapters in the book that describes how they formulated the battles. Uh, what caused the war and you know certain things like what we would use as what we would we were taught like when we watch movies or TV shows or even anime it's called filler something to drag on the story but it's like not really filler in between it's like small events that happen in between in the story so the, the it doesn't actually have everything doesn't always have to follow the main plot of the story what I'm trying to say so when you write your story, you want to go in the Bible and get source material. You know, you look at the Bible as your source material. Like any other artist looks at source material, they want to write about Batman, a new artist. What do they do? They read about or the old books that talk about Batman so they can gain some source material. Our source material is the Bible. Therefore, if you want to write righteous material, you stick with the Holy Scriptures. Now, 
let's say for instance you want to come up with a story about dragons right I have a story that I'm going to be writing about about dragons uh, well not necessarily I changed that I'm actually because right now I'm reading first Maccabees right now so I'm gonna probably be dealing with war elephants and sand serpents which is actually sand serpents is what I created in my first book and they're very their their skin is their scales is like diamonds they're like stone and they really are really hard to stop you know uh, one of my main my main protagonists had to shift into his one of his most powerful modes in order to banish them away he couldn't even kill them that's how powerful they were you know but in my third book what I'm going to be doing is placing in war elephants so like I said before I'm following in my source material which is first Maccabees when it talks about you know when you when the Israelites fought against uh, I believe those were the Persians it was it was one of the I, I haven't finished the book so don't quote me but it was one of the it was one of the nations that actually commanded a big force. A lot of our people died during that, you know, during that uh, that battle. But anyway, let's say for instance you want to write about dragons. Cool. What you want to do is you will actually develop your plot. What is your plot going to be about? What is your main character going to do? What purpose does he serve? Uh, is he just a, a character that's based on all around power? Is he uh, a character that's you're gonna actually make a series to this character and he's going to go through what is called character development he's gonna start out weak and he's gonna evolve into some more powerful or is he gonna be just naturally more powerful like a forefather Jacob he was naturally strong you know so when it comes to writing righteous material you want to go in the Bible and read about what our forefathers have done and our foremothers because we can't leave the sisters out either in my book in the 12 tribes uh, one of the sisters was actually so powerful that she was able to create a field with using her spiritual energy and was able to transfer all of the nation of Israel from the land of, of Israel into the wilderness, trying to um, make sure her brothers and sisters don't die from the hand of the antagonist who was trying to kill her father. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, wait. For uh, two weeks before the Feast of Dedication, I will be dropping the 12 Tribes and the Power of Brotherhood, which is a sequel to the 12 Tribes and the Power of the Seven Churches, okay? So, going back to, the, going back to creating righteous material, if you want to create anything, you just have to make sure it filters through the Bible. Make sure it, it is not wicked, that it actually has a good plot, and it doesn't actually have to be 100% all righteous. It's just to have to be certain things that... Uh, people will actually get an understanding with the scriptures from because there's sorcery in my book there's uh, idolatry in my book but of course it's about the nation of Israel repenting so it's about the nation of Israel getting out of their out of their wickedness and learning the law statutes and commandments and gaining the power to be able to help redeem their brothers and sisters from captivity so uh, hopefully I actually answered some questions and was able to uh, give you an overall or what, maybe maybe just a brief understanding on how to create righteous literature. So if you want to actually check out a lot of my material, go to www.hebrewchronicles.com and go into the website, check out. If you want to also donate, donate to hebrewchronicles.com uh, through PayPal. If you want to support the, um, the website and the channel and help me grow this this channel because believe it or not this is the first step to righteous literature and righteous art